Hey, it's Diego with Amesu Develop, and today I'm actually talking about this, the Polaroid SX70 Tele 1.5 lens. You can tell this is the 119A, which is the Sonar 680 and 690 model because of this notch here. This notch is going to allow you to go to manual mode if you need be. Um, sometimes I get it to where it focuses properly. Let's say you're taking a smear selfie or something using this lens, uh, you're going to go in and switch to manual mode because it won't work with mirrors. I actually really like this thing. I'm going to dive into some of the stuff I like and some of the dislikes. There's not too many dislikes, but we're going to get into the video and show you some photo examples, so stay tuned. I had seen tons of these things online, and pretty much a lot of the people that I admire that take photos, they use this lens. It's actually pretty heavy. You wouldn't expect it to be this heavy. Uh, I thought it was just going to be plastic pretty much, but there's actually a glass lens on there. Really quality build. You go ahead and compress on the insides to snap it in. So you compress in it like widens and bows the outside and then it fits nice and natural uh, I, I didn't mean to smack it too hard there like i was saying about the 119a that little notch allows the metal piece for you to switch from manual mode to autofocus easily there is another one called the 119 without the a that is for regular sx70 models i'm going to show examples of that now as you can see here it fits nice and snug on a regular model 1 or model 2 sx70 without sonar I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of the 119, the regular one, and show that that little notch would actually conflict with the sonar models. So I've seen other people DIY and Dremel them out, but if you want a solid build, you want the 119A. One of the cons that I can actually think of offhand is that if you had one shot left and you want to put a new film pack in, you're going to have to take off the lens, take the pack out, put a new pack in, and put the lens back on. It is kind of inconvenient because it won't clear the film pack on the lens because it sits so flush with the door. But uh, the ergonomics is kind of different like I was saying, but totally worthwhile once you see the examples. If you'd watched one of my last videos, I talk about this really tough to find, really hard to get marketing edition Polaroid film. It is one of my favorites. It is a 600 speed film and I'm going to be using it in my SX70. So you know exactly what that means. ND filter. I thought this was a great excuse to bust out my SX70 and show the world what it can do. Okay, with the ND filter inserted, make sure those little tabs stay on the outside so it doesn't get pushed through. Go ahead and insert it and go ahead and pop it up. You see your dark slide. You are ready to shoot and film. I thought a great thing that would highlight with this lens is portraits. So I did one without the lens first. This is your pretty standard SX70 scan, nice and straightforward. Pretty simple image separation from the background, nice crispy composition once you zoom in. Overall, pretty good. And then I went ahead and put the portrait lens on and noticed the difference. I was genuinely blown away. First things first, the background, nice and blurred, really simple clean composition. But on top of that, you get the subject really nice and close to fill the frame perfectly. Plus, I feel like it wasn't intruding in his personal space. I was looking around the house for cool stuff that I could take pictures of and then I came up with this idea of putting film inside a gumball machine. If you're wondering like I am why there's a readily available gumball machine that I could just pick up and use, I also have no answer for that. I also shot this picture in dual chrome, so black and yellow. Very simple. So you guys saw the photo examples, I think it came out ridiculous. I unfortunately cannot go back to shooting the regular SX70 lens or just without this lens the attachment because of that really nice shallow depth of field that you get. I like getting very close to my subjects. I like portraits. This is the go-to lens that you probably should have in your camera bag if you do portraits with SX-70s. Uh, I would say probably the last con that I could think of is just kind of a mental thing, is that this thing with the glass and the glass and like the solid construction feels really sturdy, but the rest of it com by comparison feels very flimsy and kind of cheap. So I always definitely try to take it easy on this thing uh, popping it in and out of my camera. I don't want to mess anything up because this is a piece that I'm going to have in my bag for a long while. So yeah, tell me what you think down below. Um, are you going to pick one of these up? Do you have one? So what are some of the things that you found are cool? Um, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe. I have tons of content just like this. And uh, check out my Instagram, Aim Shoot Develop, by the same name as the YouTube channel. I'm always doing fun projects and things. Plus, you can check out some of the shots after I use with this lens or even uh, some of the stuff that I kind of use to hype up some of the new videos. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.